a woman number after an embryo transfer she should uh, be let's say cool uh, do not mm, be afraid of nothing and do whatever she likes of course I never advise patients to go for uh, uh, for running or swimming or whatever but of course uh, being after an embryo transfer coughing after embryo transfer traveling after, after the embryo transfer are not uh, problems for a uh, success for the success uh, nature is very very well uh, created okay that's uh, the truth and uh, she knows that if the if everything worked perfectly if the blastocyst is okay if the endometrium is okay if the patient is okay then whatever the patient does after the embryo transfer the pregnancy will go perfectly on the other hand if the blastocyst is not good or the endometrium is not good or whatever, if something is not destined to go well, the patient could also remain, let's say, on her bed for uh, five days, she will not be pregnant, okay? I will always, uh, let's say, uh, say this story. I had a patient in Belgium that uh, she had the egg retrieval, uh, she had the transfer, and the day after the transfer, she had a uh, urgent laparoscopy for uh, an ovarian torsion. So, mm, let's say worse than that, it couldn't be laparoscopy after the embryo transfer. And I assure you that she uh, delivered after nine months. So, if she has to be pregnant, let's say that it's her destiny, she will be pregnant. 